Our friends over at Berkeley are like children exploring a forest. They can see that branches meet at limbs, and limbs meet at the trunk. So they say, Golly, maybe all these tree trunks are just branches on an even bigger tree, way underground. Maybe this whole forest is only one big tree. It's creative, but if you start digging, you'll find a significant lack of evidence for their theory. Grab your shovels, kids. We're going to take a look into the roots of the problem. Where there is actually some evidence to look at, we tend to agree with the Understanding Evolution team. What we disagree with is all of the places where they draw a line from, for example, cabbages to wolves, when the existence of the cabbage wolf is, as of yet, without hard evidence. If you look at a modern snake you might not see obvious limbs, but fossils show that ancient snakes did have limbs, and some modern snakes actually do retain rudimentary limbs. Four limbs is a shared derived character inherited from a common ancestor that helps set apart this particular clad of vertebrates. I just have to ask, if they find a fossil skeleton of an animal with four limbs, why do they think it was a snake? Is it just me? Who looks at what is essentially a gecko or a salamander and says, This lizard lacks skeleton with four legs? Snake! Yep, four-legged snake! Yeah, who is that guy, and what university gave him tenure? And it is simply false that snakes have legs. They have a bone structure in the back half of the snake, which, with the right imagination, is located where hind legs would be if snakes had legs. That bone is used to anchor muscles which are necessary to make baby snakes. So no, snakes do not have legs. And neither do whales. Who's saying that whales have legs? Ho <laughs> ho, you just wait. They'll get there. That all land-dwelling animals evolved from the same four-legged ancestor is merely assumed. No evidence is provided for it, and I seriously doubt they would even claim that any exists. As you will see later, the story the fossils tell is barely a word for every thousand-page volume of evolutionary story. As part of the evolutionary story, these prior ancestors are assumed and unquestioned. Assumed and unquestioned are big around these parts. They are to evolution what iPhones and Twitter are to tweens.